Hello, I'm the Wolf Witch. Um, this is my mug today. It's just cute, and that's about it. I think I got it at Target. Um, and then <laughs> I have this tea. Um, another Alice in Wonderland one. I forgot to show off all the little images on the inside. They're really cute. Um, this one's good. It's a ginger, ginger mango peach black tea. Um, it's called the Mad Tea Party Blend and it has Alice and the little rabbit on it. Um, but yeah, so you're here for the calendula spirit, so let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Um, alright, so for <laughs> um, the first impressions that I got before I actually um, pulled any tarot cards, I just got, um, I kept getting like animal ears and I'm not sure <laughs> why, maybe it's just telling you to listen or to listen to the animals. Um, I got a candlelight, which... Um, that one was interesting because before I realized I was working with the calendula spirit um, that day, I had a list of just a bunch of herbs and I just go, oh, this Thursday I'm working with this one and the next Thursday I'm working with this one. And so um, before I had even noticed it was calendula, I just got like this feeling of like candlelight um, or light by fire. Um, and calendula is kind of like sun energy kind of um herb and then we have can i even call it an herb i guess it's just a plant <laughs> um and then i kept seeing horses with carriages um uh, kind of makes me think of the chariot card from tarot but um not necessarily um then when i asked it to describe itself i got the moon the two of coins and then the Knight of Coins in reverse, or Pentacles. Um, so just kind of like someone who's emotionally disciplined. Um, uh, a plant that balances emotions, um, that helps people get out of ruts. Um, Yeah, and just kind of like to address the fears that people have and to shine a light on that and um, basically helping them get back into balance so that they're not standing still. Um, for the second question, we have, what are you here to teach me specifically? Um, which I got the three of... <laughs> Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and then the Devil. So to me, um, <laughs> sorry I keep saying um, it's just the thing I do. It's either that or me singing random songs like do 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 do. So I mean, I guess um is honestly the better option here. Uh, <laughs> fuck. All right. Um, God, I can't. I can't stop. Sorry. Anyway, you're not here for this. So when I asked it, what are you here to teach me? These were the cards I got. Basically, it's here to teach me how to bring harmony into my life, um, dealing with negative emotions and habits, and then basically it's here to work with me so I can move on and heal. Uh, it's a support system. Calendula. Um, I got this, like, message of, <laughs> of, like, ancestors, but I saw, like, a support system that isn't necessarily, like, here on this plane, so it can be to connect you to your ancestors, or it could be... It could be your support system, basically, <laughs> which I thought was kind of sweet and interesting because I don't think people consider plant spirits their support systems, but here we are. Uh, do, do, do. Here to help me deal with aggression and sadness and, you know, emotions of like grieving and getting over 
glasses, uh, <laughs> and then the song, uh, it's a Nirvana song that's called Come As You Are. Uh, it's kind of like, I tend to get self-conscious, like when my energy is really funky and really gross. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to work with spirits because why would they want to work with someone who doesn't have their shit together? But um, I remember speaking to a high priestess and she was telling me how that's when you need the spirits the most. So I'm trying to remember that. But it was just nice that the Kalendula spirit was like, you can come, you know, <laughs> gritty and shitty and with your negative energy. Like, that's what I'm here for, to help you clear it out. So that was a nice message. Um, I asked it uh, a third question, which is always, uh, when would you like other people to call on you? And I got the King of Cups, the Six of Wands in reverse, and then the Two of Coins again. which to me um, signifies emotional balance and mastery, like when you need help with that. Um, success spells. And when I see the Six of Wands in reverse, I think of like uh, personal private successes, um, emotional victories, basically um, things that you don't necessarily get a prize for or things that you don't want to celebrate <laughs> with other people you know what I mean uh it's not like a I don't know not something you would necessarily brag to people about like for example people that are sober right um it's great that you're sober and sometimes you want to talk about it then that's cool but I feel like a lot of people who are sober and it's like their 30 year anniversary, they don't necessarily want to like share that because it is a private uh, situation and their addiction can be something very private. So it's like a victory, but private, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So like if you need help with um, personal victories or private victories, um, emotional victories, that's kind of what it's here to help you succeed at. Um, Especially with the sun energy, Calendula is like, you know, success energy. So that's nice. <laughs> and then we have, again, more balance. Um, getting your life in balance, getting your emotions in balance, dispelling the ego. Um, having faith in yourself and believing in yourself that you can do this and that you've got it and you can succeed. Um, yeah. And then for the last one, we got the world message. Like, if you could tell the world anything, what would you tell it? And I got the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, and then the Three of Coins, if I can find her. Okay, in reverse. So that to me was basically, um, don't do things alone. Uh, work with others, find harmony, be a teacher to other people, um, and don't resist change. Um, so again, this idea of community, and if you don't have community in person, find community in spirit or in the metaphysical. Um, the Calendula spirit has offered me personally, because <laughs> it says, uh, what are you here to teach me? Um, you know, to be my support system, but uh, maybe it's something that it would be open to working with you on in case you don't have a support system and you just kind of need that extra um, help. And um, especially with sun energy um, plants, you know, this idea of like being happy and being cheery and having, uh, again, like the candlelight, um, yeah so this it's it i feel like there was a big message of community here just um not only finding a community to rely on but helping other people and like being that community um i think that's uh that's something that people forget about a lot they want to feel like they belong but then they don't 
you know they're not a place that people feel comfortable coming to either like so when you're looking for your safe space i guess don't forget to be a safe space for other people um yeah and that's kind of the messages we got from the calendula spirit so thank you calendula spirit um and i'll see you in the next one